we love when new inks arrive and we've been waiting for these for a while these came all the way from australia this is a whole new ink collection from van diemen's this is the van diemen's birds of a feather ink collection and they're 30 milliliter inks and there's 18 different inks the first one is the european honeybee eater nape ink and it's the deep burgundy there at the top and next we have the european honeybee eater wing ink and that is a an interesting color of green I love that it has that true green color, but once it dries, you'll see a little bit of mint comes out in that ink, and it's very interesting and cool. This next ink is European Honeybee Eater Chin Ink, and this ink reminds me a little bit of the Monte Grappa Harry Potter Hufflepuff ink, um, except that it, it seems to have uh, more of a pure yellow to me. We decided it leans a little bit towards orange. Once it's dry, you'll be able to see it, and it, is, it comes off very mango. And then next we're jumping straight over to the European Honeybee Eater Breast Ink, and this is a teal color. All the inks in this ink collection are inspired by um, birds native to Australia where Van Diemen's is located. And I really love seeing the four colors inspired by the European Honeybee Eater bird because they're so different. I love that. I want to see that bird with all those four colors. Okay, and I'm jumping in. The first um, elegant peacock eye just went down, and that was a really um, deep, deep blue. And then next we're looking at the elegant peacock train, and that's a shimmery green. And it's a, a pretty, uh, I want to say wicked green for some reason. I think I'm thinking of the Wicked Witch. But it's a very bright, vivid green with a gold shimmer. And then next we have the elegant peacock neck. And that one has some cool sheening effects that you'll see once it's dry. And then this next one is veering towards another bird. This is Anna's hummingbird wing. And it is really beautiful. I'll come back and show you that once it's dry. It dries with a really beautiful shimmer. And then we have Anna's hummingbird face, which is a really pretty fuchsia. And it dries with a pretty cool sheen that we'll look at once it's settled in. Okay, now we're gonna move on to inks inspired by the Mandarin duck. This first one is Mandarin duck breast. And it goes down here as a really solid blue color, but it dries pretty different. So we'll come back and look at that. This next one is Mandarin Duck Wing. And I like the mixture of colors it's kind of presenting here initially. <clears throat> and we're using the J. Herbin Glass Spiral Dip Pin, in case you're interested in that. And then just we're using some random craft brushes to put the um, thick lines down. Okay, next we're looking at Mandarin Duck Nape. And this one is a much darker, uh, like a, a turquoise green. And it's got some really cool shading that goes on once. It, you're actually already seeing it as it's drying. Next we'll look at the Laughing Kookaburra Wing, which is the most fun to say. And this is the um, one of the lighter inks in this set. And I really like it. It's a kind of like, it reminds me of crystal clear um, seawater. And underneath that we have Laughing Kookaburra Crest, followed right after by the Laughing Kookaburra Tail. And the Laughing Kookaburra Tet Crest and Tail inks, um, once they're dry, they um, look pretty similar, except that the crest has a bit of violet going on while the tail has a more of a brown base. Um, under that, underneath that, we're gonna look at Blue Jay Wing, followed by Blue Jay Tail, and then Blue Jay Crown. And these three Blue Jay Blue inks are so lovely and I love that they're all three blue but they're all so different. And here's a look at all of these inks once they were dry and you'll see some of them really have some great shading and you also have some sheen and some shimmer. Shop Birds of a Feather at pinchley.com.